welcome to Frank's Out. Welcome to Frank's Out, guys. This is your host, Frank the Vamp. And tonight, we're continuing horror mental illness this month, where we're talking about every movie, you know, all kinds of movies that had to do with mental illnesses. And, and I couldn't go on speaking about that because, you know, um, Alex, the, you know, the YouTuber that this has been, this one has been dedicated to, he brought up the point that about compassion and, and the fact that the mental ill, um, one of the things that they deserve the most is compassion. And immediately thought of the movie, one, uh, basically, basically one who flew, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And, you know, Academy Award winner, Jack Nicholson, the best movie, um, you know, of, you know, best picture, actor in lead role, actor, actress in lead role, director, and, I mean, director by the, also Milo's foreman, I mean, we have not only Nicholson, but we have a cast that it's amazing, but we have alongside um, the the girl everybody loves to hate, uh, Louis Fletcher as Nurse Ratchet, uh, and basically this follows as a you know low life sort of criminal. Um, you know it's in there um, because of uh, it's in prison and and wants to get transfer. Um, to a hospital uh, by pretending to be mentally disturbed that way he can write out the sentence without having to do hard time however he finds that you know the mental institutions themselves are not picnic and sometimes they may even be worse than a regular jail cell and the movie's superb. I mean, it, it, it explores, you know, the, the pain and anguish that it is to have mental illness. Uh, this movie has been called a comedy, has been called a drama, and it's been called even a horror film. And that's what I want to talk about, because it is when you see the, the horrors of um, electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, and 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 also the, the you know the horrible of uh, of, of doing uh, a lobotomy uh, and what it does to a person it's incredible and it's just you know the the way that you get to hate nurse ratchet and, and and I mean that she basically tortures the patients you know that actually have a chance to get better but you know her weak ass horrible attitude it just you know drives uh, one of the patients you know to suicide which you know sets off um, you know Jack Nicholson's anger you know tantrum and you know, we have the awesome Brad Dourif playing kind of a nervous, uh, you know, sort of, uh, you know, full of anxiety dude that uh, uh, that stutters a lot. And and uh, another one to point out is Christopher Lloyd, just a, you know, you know, you will say really boisterous, really uh, profane dude. And uh, we, uh, you know, another one, a very strong showing for uh, Will Sampson playing the Chief Brolin, uh, you know, the, the silent Native American man who supposedly, uh, a gigantic man who's believed to pro possibly be deaf and mute. And, um, and I love the ending, love the ending of, of looking for freedom in, in this, you know, horribly 
mind control world and and this movie is just what can I say it's a masterpiece it's been labeled as one of the best films of all time and I truly believe it um, and I think that it's been so important because it marked you know that that people in mental institutions have freaking rights you know and they're just not there to be pushed over and locked away without a key and abuse and, and just given drugs without even trying to fix the problem just keep them kind of mild and, and non-aggressive that's what they want to do with them and um, that's the one thing that I want to do that um, especially because uh, you know I've been in the US and I've seen you know how how people are treated but it's much better than the way they're treated in other countries where uh, literally you know there's still uh, people who get beat up I mean we have people that are treated that, that have seizures or they have uh, uh, you know violent behavior in these institutions the way they're treated they, they're taken down naked and, and hosed with the uh, with frozen water in the mornings, you know, to calm down and and they're beat up, you know, they they're whipped with the same garden hose that they're hosed down, and, and horrible abuses that go on. So if you think mental institutions are a picnic, uh, you have a big waking up to. And even though things may seem better from this 1975 movie and and and. I think there's a lot to work on uh, when it comes to the rights of, uh, of persons with mental illness. And, and I just have to say that the compassion part comes in, starts with you, you know, starts how you treat people with mental illness that are outside, or if you're a guard in one of these institutions. And, and, and people should be treated with the utmost privacy, uh, loneliness, and, and I mean loveliness and, and care for these people and and it's very important that people do so otherwise you know it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and, 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 and things will slowly degenerate um, yeah this this superb movie it's you know people don't talk about it enough today but I thought that it would be a great thing to say you know one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Some of the best movies of all time. Best movies about mental illness, and even though it's sort of a comedy, sort of a drama, it's sort of a horror movie because it, it does have some images and thoughts and and things that happen that are just truly horrifying. And hopefully they're not happening today, but you and I know they are still happening. Maybe not in the U.S., but in other countries. So stop the abuse of the mentally ill and let's get these people help um, we're going to talk about another movie starring Christian Bale American Psycho number three we gotta talk to we, I switched the order because it, it just struck me that I just had to talk to them a while so stay tuned for that hope you like my review and Stay tuned for more as we continue Mental Ill Month.